Well, hey there, church, and welcome to our boost today. Today, I'm going to be challenging you from Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 30. The Bible says, The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he who wins souls is wise. He who wins souls is wise. Today's challenge, in fact, this week, is to save a soul. Now, I know that us as saints, we cannot save anybody. We are just called to preach the gospel, but we are to go out and win souls for the kingdom. And I know many times people focus on discipleship, but the truth is we cannot disciple anybody who's not born again. So the first thing is we need to go out and save people for the kingdom. And so he has three quick things that you can do to do that. The first thing is to pray for that person. I want you to single out somebody, either your workplace or in your family, that's going to be like the mission this week. I want you to start praying for them. You know, when Jesus was talking to Nicodemus in John chapter 3, in verse 8, this is what he said. The wind blows where it wishes and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. The truth is that we don't know when people really give their lives to Jesus or not, but He does. And all we need to do as we preach the gospel and water that seed in their heart is to pray for them. Now, I don't have time to go to, into the intricacies of prayer, but intercede for that person. Pray that God gives them grace, God gives them mercy, that the scales that the devil has put over their eyes uh, that is blinding them to Jesus is removed. And so stand in the gap for them and I promise you it makes a world of a difference by the time you go and minister to them. It's almost like God has sifted their hearts in a way to become more receptive. So that's the first thing is pray for them. The second thing is know your Bible. As saints, we are not called to minister out of our own philosophies or our own perspectives or what we think. We are called to preach the gospel of Jesus and we are to do it accurately. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, the apostle Paul talking to them, he says that when he went to Corinth, he didn't preach out of the excellence of his own speech or his own wisdom. He declared the testimony of God. It says that he determined not to know anything among the Corinthians except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And later he says that there was a demonstration of the Spirit and of power so that the Corinthians faith would not be based in, human, uh, in man's wisdom, humanity's wisdom, but rather in the power of God. You know, a classic example of this is where I still live in a complex. To the left of me, a Jewish person lives there. And to the right of me, a heathen, a Gentile. And now if I was to minister to the gospel to the Jewish person, knowing my Bible, I would probably go to the first four chapters in the gospel of Matthew because it beautifully reveals Jesus as their Messiah. Now, I probably wouldn't do that with the Gentile because he doesn't even know what a Messiah is. You get my point? So know your Bible. And the third thing is be led by the Spirit. It's so important that we are sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit when we minister the gospel to somebody. There's times in my life where I've been very direct and confrontational when ministering the gospel and other times where I've been gentle. The Holy Spirit knows the, the heart of that individual. And so let him take the lead when you're ministering. This will really help avoid Bible bashing and pronouncing judgment on that person. And so church, there's your challenge this week. Save a soul. Number one is pray for that person. Number two, know your Bible, preach the gospel. And number three, be led of the Holy Spirit. I pray that you have success in this as we all together collectively try and preach the gospel and expand the kingdom of Jesus together. So church, we love you and we'll see you tomorrow for Pastor Mark and Belinda's Daily Boost. Take care.